Okay, so right now we want to make all the installation files that we have already downloaded to our PC or to your Mac machine or Linux. You want, we want to make it available also in our virtual machine. And we can do that also without copy or physical copying or pasting that into our virtual machine. And this we will achieve by uh, creating a shared folder from our original system uh, to our virtual machine. And this is uh, how we will do this. So I will open up my virtual box program. Okay, so here I am in my virtual box. I make sure that I highlight my uh, current virtual machine and hit on settings. And down here you see the shared folders. And currently I don't have any shared folders here. So what I will do, I will hit on this plus button where I will find my folder or choose my folder path with all the installation files. So I will click here and choose other and find the path to my installation files. So I've downloaded them here into downloads SAP NetWeaver. So this is where I have all my installation files and I will select folder. Okay. And what I will do, I will also check the auto mount and make permanent uh, so that whenever I will restart my virtual machine, I will have this folder all still uh, shared with my virtual machine. So, And one more thing be before I click on OK is that I suggest you to change the folder name from the uh, from the like very long one. If you also have like long folder name, but I uh, suggest you to use something more simple, something like SAP INST for SAP installation. Uh, this is because it will be much easier to access uh, this shared folder by name later on uh, instead of uh, using this full path. So this is just for making it much easier for us to, uh, to, to get to that shelf shared folder. Okay, so if you have all that done, click on OK. And right now you see that our machine shared, shared folder is right here, listed here. So this is the state that we are looking for. And again, we hit OK once more. Uh, so right now everything is set up. And what we should do right now is to reboot uh, your uh, system so that the shared folder will be also accessible by our uh, Linux distribution. And I will choose Restart. So right now our virtual box is restarting the whole system. I will choose boot from hard disk. So I, I make sure that this boot from hard disk is highlighted and hit enter. And I will just use the OpenSUSE leap for 2.3 or it will be done automatically if I do I if I do not do anything. And just let's wait until the system is already rebooted. So right now the system is up and running again and we can move to the another setting which will help us to generate database keys needed for SAP. So let's move forward to the next lecture.